Derbyshire bowl out Middlesex to earn their first county championship win at home since September 2014. Derbyshire strengthened their position against Middlesex on day three, with Reese and Slater putting on a batting masterclass to help their side set the visitors a target of 442. Middlesex put on 86 runs in the evening session but lost three wickets and as Holden and Rayner returned to the middle on the final day, they required another 356 runs to win. Surviving for the draw was the only realistic option for the visitors but Rayner came out swinging. His fun was short-lived though as he was caught by Madsen off Olivier in the second over of the morning out for 18. The following over, Vil Hune removed Holden without him adding to his overnight score and Derbyshire had their tails up. Vil Hune almost had another wicket soon after but dropped a return catch off the bat of Simpson. The wicketkeeper batsman capitalised and soon took momentum away from the hosts alongside Sterling and the pair pushed the score along playing freely. It didn't take long for their partnership to surpass 50 and things were looking better for Middlesex. The Derbyshire attack were patient though and Reese took a catch off his own bowling to get the breakthrough, Sterling out for 42. Simpson then didn't last much longer and was dismissed for 24 on the stroke of lunch, Madsen the wicket taker. A great end to the session for Derbyshire and with a score 166 for 7 at the break, the hosts needed just three wickets to win as the afternoon session got underway, Middlesex still requiring another 276 runs. New batsman Harris and Roland Jones fought hard though and the pair frustrated the Derbyshire attack by protecting their wickets. Roland Jones then suddenly decided to play more attacking. In an eventful over, bowled by Critchley, the Middlesex man scored three fours and a six and when attempting to hit one more boundary and reach his 50, he was finally caught in the deep by Slater and sent on his way for 46. Derbyshire needed just two more wickets to win as Helm came to the crease However, the new batsman proceeded to frustrate the hosts along with Harris. Derbyshire took the new ball, but the Middlesex pair were untroubled and developed a solid partnership which surpassed 50. The hosts failed to take another wicket before tea, the score 285 for 8 during the break. A great effort by Harris and Helm, who were keeping Middlesex's hopes alive. And as the players returned to the field, Middlesex required 157 runs to win. The pair continued to take on the Derbyshire attack as the score surpassed 300. Helm brought up their 100 partnership in style with a big six off Critchley. He then reached his own half century moments later and the pressure was building for Derbyshire. Helm couldn't push on though and it was Critchley who finally brought his defiant innings to an end, out LBW for 52. Derbyshire had an hour to take the final wicket. It only took them five more overs though to dismiss the new batsman, Olivier the bowler, Murta out for five. A great lower order resistance and admirable effort from Harris who finished on 64 not out. A huge win for Derbyshire and their first county championship victory at home since September 2014. Olivier the standout bowler once again finishing with figures of 4 for 82 and match figures of 8 for 108. Most of the credit must go to Derbyshire's opening batsman though, Slater scoring 99 and Rees unbeaten on 157 in their second innings which helped the hosts set Middlesex such a huge target. 21 points for Derbyshire then, who'll be hoping for another good performance when they travel to Leicester in round three. Middlesex earned just three points and will need to improve when they host Glamorgan in their next game.